Hello, my name is Peter and welcome to my channel. Today we'll work on this beautiful diamond shaped pineapple doily. This doily measures from the one side to the other 32 inches, which is 81 centimeters, and across it's 18 inches, that's 46 centimeters. You will need approximately 68 grams of crochet thread number 10 and we will work with a crochet hook 1.5 millimeter. So, because this is a pretty big project, we will work uh, in two parts. First part, we will work on the center piece and in the second part, we will start working on these pineapples. So, I hope you will enjoy this uh, project. Enough words and let's start. We will start with a slip knot. And now we will chain 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. And now we will start with around one. We will chain three. This chain three does not count as a stitch. Into the ring we will work th 30 treble crochets. It's one, two, Three, four, five, six, Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So, to finish this round one, we'll slip stitch into the first treble crochet of this round. We'll start with round two. We'll chain four for the first treble crochet and chain two for the chain two space. Into the next stitch we will work treble crochet. Chain two, treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain two. So we will repeat this pattern around in each stitch of the previous round we will work treble crochet and chain two between. Chain two and the last treble crochet. Chain two. To finish this round we will slip stitch into the for, uh, fourth chain of our beginning chain six like that. Now we'll start with around three. First we'll chain four for the first treble crochet and chain one for the chain one space. Now we'll skip one chain two space and into the next we'll work four treble crochets. That's one two, three, and four. 
chain one. Into the next chain two space, four treble crochets. Chain one. Now we will skip one chain two space and we will repeat this pattern. Skip one space into the next, we will work four treble crochets. Chain one, four treble into the next space. So that's two, three, and four. Chain one, skip one chain to space and into the next. We will work four treble crochets. Chain one, four treble crochets into the next space. Chain one, again skip one, chain two space and into the next work, four treble crochets. So repeat this pattern around and I will meet you at the end of this round number three. chain one and into the last chain two space we'll work only three travel crochets so that's one two three and now we will slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain five We will start with around four. We will slip stitch into the chain one space. Chain four for the first treble crochet. And into the same chain one stitch, we will work two treble crochets. Now we'll chain one and into the same chain one space, three treble crochets. Two. Three. Now we'll go into the next chain one space and work three treble crochets. One. Two, three, chain one and three treble crochets into the same space. And we'll repeat this pattern around. Into the next chain one space, we'll work three treble crochets, chain one and three treble crochets. And again into the next chain one space, 
work. Three treble crochets, chain one and three treble crochets. So repeat this pattern around. Finish this round in this last chain one space, work three treble crochets, chain one and three treble crochets and then slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning, chain four. Round five. We will slip stitch into next two treble crochets. And into the chain one space. Now we will chain four for the first treble crochet. And into the same chain one space we will work two treble crochets. chain one and three treble crochets. Okay. Now we will chain one and into the next chain one space three treble crochets, chain one and three treble crochets. So one, two, three, chain one and three treble crochets into the same chain one space. Chain one and we'll repeat this pattern around into the next chain one space, three treble crochets, chain one and three treble crochets into the same space. Chain one. And again into the next chain one space, three treble crochets. It's one, two, three, chain one, and three treble crochets into the same space. chain one. So repeat this pattern around and finish this round with a in this last chain one space we'll work three treble crochets, chain one and three treble crochets, then we'll chain one and slip stitch into the fourth chain. Round six. We'll slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain one space. We will chain four for the first treble crochet and into the same chain one space. We will work three, two treble crochets, chain two and two treble crochets into the same space. So it's three treble crochets, so that's two and three. So this chain four counts as our first treble crochet, and then we have two treble crochets, so three all together, chain two and three treble crochets. Chain two. Now we will skip one chain one space, and into the next we'll work three treble crochets, chain two and three treble crochets into the same space. Chain two, 
and we'll repeat this pattern around. So we'll skip one chain one space and into the next we'll work three travel crochets. chain two and three travel crochets into the same space then we'll chain two and again skip one chain one space and into the next we'll work three travel crochets chain two and three treble crochets into the same space. Chain two. So repeat this pattern around and finish this round with a chain two and then slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four. Round seven, we will slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain two space. We will chain four for the first treble crochet and into the same chain two space we'll work two treble crochets. Chain two and three treble crochets into the same space. Now we will chain three. One, two, three. We will skip chain two space and into the next chain two space we will work three treble crochets chain two and three treble crochets into the same space. And we'll repeat this pattern around, chain three, skip one space into the next, three treble crochets, chain two and three treble crochets. So that's one treble, two, three, chain two, and three treble crochets into the same chain two space. Chain three. One more time, skip one space into the next, three treble crochets, chain two and three treble crochets into the same space. Chain three. So repeat this pattern around, finish this round with a chain three and slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four. Round eight, we will slip stitch into the next two travel crochets and into the chain two space. Now we will work on our beginning shell with a chain four for the first treble crochet into the same space will work. Two treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets into the same space. It's two and three. 
chain four. One, two, three, four. Into the next chain two space, we'll work a shell. And shell is three treble crochets. It's two and three. Chain three. One, two, three. And three treble crochets into the same space. Like that. So our beginning shell is chain four for the first treble, then two treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets. And shell is three treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets. And we'll repeat this pattern around. So chain four into the next chain two space, a shell. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and again into the next chain two space we'll work a shell. So a shell is three treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets. So we'll repeat this pattern around, finish this round with a shell in this last chain two space, then chain four and slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four. Around nine, we'll slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain three space. We'll work on our beginning shell with a chain four, two treble crochets. Chain three and three treble crochets into the same space. So we made our beginning shell. Now we will chain five and we will work a shell in the next shell. So a shell is three treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets into the same space. chain 5 and we will repeat this pattern around shell in the next shell And chain five. And again, we will work a shell in the next shell. So repeat this pattern around and finish this round with a shell in this last shell, then chain five and slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four. Okay. So the next two rounds are the same. The round 10 and 11 will work the same way. Each round will start the slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain three space. And we'll work on our beginning shell. Now we will chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
shell into the next shell. Chain six. Shell in the next shell. Chain six. And again, shell in the next shell. So repeat this pattern for the round 10. Finish round 10 with a shell in this last shell, then chain six, slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four. And then the same way as we did this round 10, you will start round 11. So, for round 11, slip stitch into the next two treble crochets into the chain 3 space, then work on the beginning shell, chain 6, shell in next shell, chain 6 and shell in next shell. So, round 10 and 11 are worked in the same way. Work these two rounds and I will meet you at the beginning of round number 12. Okay, so we made it our two rounds, round 10 and 11. Now we will start with around uh, 12. So we will slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain three space. We will work on our beginning shell as usual with a chain four to treble crochets. Then chain three and into the same space three treble crochets. That's two and three. Now we will chain six one, two, three, four, five, six, and we will work our first base of our pineapple. To do so, into the next shell, we will work eleven treble crochets. So all 11 treble crochets into the same chain 3 space and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and the last one, eleven. Okay. Well, this is our base for a pineapple. Now we will change six, one, two, three, four. Five, six, and we will repeat this pattern around. So in, we will work a shell in the next shell. With three treble crochets. Chain three and three treble crochets into the same space. chain six and again into the next shell we will work a base for our pineapple with 11 treble crochets two three four 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and the last one, 11. Chain 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we will repeat this pattern around. So, into the next shell, we will work a shell, then chain 6 and 11 treble crochets into the next shell. So repeat this pattern around and finish this round with here in this shell we will work 11 treble crochets then chain 6 and slip stitch into the 4th chain of our beginning chain 4. We will start with around 13 slip stitch into the next 2 treble crochets and into the chain 3 space. We will work on our beginning shell. Chain six, one, two. 6. Here we have our 11 treble crochets and in each treble crochet we will work a treble crochet and chain 1 between. So that's 1, chain 1, into the next stitch, 2, chain 1, then to the next, that's 3, chain 1. So in each treble crochet, work treble crochet and chain one between. And the last one. Now chain six and shell in next shell. So we will repeat this pattern around chain six and again we have our eleven treble crochets with the previous round and we'll work one treble crochet in each one of them and chain one between that's one, chain one, two treble, chain one, three treble crochets, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, Seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine, chain one, ten, treble crochet, chain one, and the last, eleven. And now we will chain six. 
and again we'll work a shell in the next shell so repeat this pattern around and finish this round work across this base of the last pineapple then chain six and slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four round 14 we will slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain three space we will work on our beginning shell so chain four two treble crochets chain three and three treble crochets into the same space like that now we will chain six one two three four five six and here is our base of our pineapple so here we have our our 10 chain one spaces and we will work single crochet into the first one and we'll chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space so this way we'll work across this chain one spaces chain three and single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the next space chain three and single crochet into the last chain one space so in this round we'll have two four six eight nine loops in our pineapple now we'll chain six four five six and we will repeat this pattern around so We'll work a shell in the next shell. Now we'll chain six, three, four, five, six. And again, we'll work into the chain one spaces. In each space, we'll work a single crochet in chain three between. three and the last chain one space chain six and again we'll work a shell in the next shell so repeat this pattern around and finish this round with a chain six and then slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four round 15 we will slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain three space. We will work on our beginning shell with a chain four, two treble crochets, then chain three and into the same space three treble crochets. chain six okay now we'll work across our pineapple with a single crochet in each loop and chain three between so single crochet into the first loop then we'll chain three single crochet into the next loop chain three single crochet into the next loop chain three next loop
and sink the crochet into the last loop. Now we'll chain 6 or 5 and 6 and we'll repeat this pattern around. So we'll work a shell in the next shell. This is 3 treble crochets. Then chain 3. And 3 more treble crochets into the same space. Chain 6. And again we will work across our pineapple with a single crochet in each loop and chain 3 between. To the next, chain 3, single crochet into the next loop and so on. chain 3 and single crochet into the last loop of our pineapple. Now we'll chain 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this round 15 we'll have 2, 4, 6, 8 chain 3 loops remaining in our pineapples. So repeat this pattern around. Finish this round with this last single crochet in this last loop, then chain 6 and slip stitch into the 4th chain of our beginning chain 4. Okay, so we have finished our round 15. And as you can see, I placed some stitch markers into the shells. So why? I will tell you in a minute. So we will start with, with round 16. We'll slip stitch into the next two treble crochets and into the chain 3 space. We will start this round with chain 4 for the first treble crochet and into the same space we will work two treble crochets. So in total we have three treble crochets. Now we'll chain 3 and into the same space we'll work 3 treble crochets chain 3 into the same space again 3 treble crochets chain 3 and 3 treble crochets all in the same chain 3 space now we'll chain 6 So what we did, in this shell we made four groups of three treble crochets and chain three between. <coughs> so now we will work across our pineapple as usual. So single crochet in each chain three, loop and chain three between. single crochet into the next loop, chain 3, single crochet into the next loop, chain 3, and single crochet into the last loop. Now I'll chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And into this next shell again we'll work, as we did here, 4 groups of 3 treble crochets and chain 3 between. Chain 
Now this is our first group, chain 3, second group, chain 3, third group, chain three and we have to make one more group so three more treble crochets into the same space like that so we have four groups chain six again we'll work across our pineapple with a single crochet in each chain three loop and chain three between the last loop chain six three four, five, six. No. Here we have our first shell. In this shell we made four groups of three treble crochets in chain three between these groups. Then we worked across our pineapple and in this round 16 we have two, four, six, seven loops remaining. Then we chain four and into the next shell we worked again four groups of three treble crochets and chain three between then we worked across our pineapple and now we have into the next one two three shells we will work only three groups of three treble crochets so into the next shell three groups of three treble crochets one two three treble then chain three three treble crochets into the same space this is our second group chain three and three treble crochets into the same space chain six four five six and again we'll work across our pineapple and into the next two shells we'll work a group of three treble crochets then into the next two shells group uh, of four treble crochets, uh, sorry, uh, four groups of three treble crochets, and then again we have three shells where we'll work only three groups of three treble crochets and chain three between. Okay, so repeat this pattern around and I will meet you at the end of this round so we made it around so what we did we started with four groups of three treble crochets into the next shell we worked four groups and then one two three times we worked only three groups of three treble crochets and then again into the next two into the next two shells we worked four groups one two three four and we finished this round with one two three shells where we have only three groups of 
three treble crochets. This is our last group, then we work across our pineapple. And now, and now we will finish this round with a slip stitch into the fourth chain of our beginning chain four. Then we will slip stitch into the next two treble crochets into the chain three space and now we will chain one and we can cut our thread, pull our loop through and fasten off. We made 16 rounds in this uh, doily and this is the end of the part one. Link to the part two will be in the description down below as soon as it's uploaded. So until the next time, enjoy your crocheting and be safe.